Bush and born George Lavin. Born April 12, 1901. Died December 25th, 1993 in Brooklyn, New York. I had the pleasure of meeting George Lavin. He had 107 total bouts, 61 wins, 7 knockouts, 29 losses. He was stopped one time with 13 draws. Now he's a Jewish lightweight contender. He had a sports writer by the name of Bill Miller, who would state that the Jewish lightweight contender, George Lavin, had a heart of gold. He was some scrapper. Now George Lavin was amongst the Jewish community in the boxing world. They had some of the finest fighters in boxing history. Fighters such as Daniel Mendoza, Benny Leonard, Abe Battelle, Mushy Callahan, Max Baer, Lou Tindler, Barney Ross, Barney Levinsky, Sid Terrace, Bob Olin, Jack Bernstein, Charlie Phil Rosenboom, and Al Bumby Davis. Jackie Kid Bird and King Levinsky. Ruby Goldstein, Ace Huskins, the Nebraskan Wildcat. Little Hebrew, which Abe Battelle. The Ghetto Wizard was Benny Leonard. Mushy Callahan was a fine fighter. Hey, Al Singer. He was something else. Although he was knocked out by Tony Canzanario in one round, but he himself knocked out Sammy Mandel to win that title. He has some great fighters in the Jewish community. I'm going to be doing a video on that. But Benny Volger, one of the finest Jewish fighters that is not mentioned. Now we're doing a profile on Benny Volger. But George Lavin would be in the ring with Sergeant Sammy Baker. And he was a fine fighter. Had 160 bouts. He was from Huntsville, Alabama. And he fought fighters such as Young Terry, Baby Joe Gans, Jackie Fields. Jackie Fields was a very good fighter. He took the title away from Young Jack Thompson. And he would lose it. To Young Corbett the third. Sammy Baker would be in the ring with Jack Zivick and Jimmy McLaurin, Pete Myers, and young Jack, John Corbett, excuse me. He was split. A victory with young Corbett, the third. One win and one loss. William Gorilla Jones was a middleweight champion. These would be the opponents of Sam and Sergeant Sammy Baker. George Lavin would be in the ring with Tommy Freeman, who was also a champion. He had 214 bouts from Arkansas. And he'd be in a ring with Ralph Chong, Charlie Jerome, and Tiger Red Talavi, Oscar Rankins, and Texas Joe Gans. Texas Joe Gans had over 133 fights. Powell Silvers and Spurs Myers, Canada Lee, who was a fine actor after his boxing career, Joe Dundee, Pinky Mitchell, who was the first junior welterweight champion of all times. He is to your right. Pete Latso, just to name a few. Matter of fact, Pete Latso was a world welterweight champion. And he faced George Lavin at New York's Polo Ground, July 9, 1926. Both men were favored to win in front of 22,000 screaming fans. And during the course of that bout, George Lavin would accidentally throw a low blow that would bend the knees of champion Pete Lasso. And unfortunately for George Lavin, he would be disqualified. On June 16, 1926, they would have a rematch. And that's over it went on points. George Lavin would lose a world junior welterweight champions, Pinky Mitchell, on September 2nd, 1926. And former welterweight champion, Jack Britton. Jack Britton lost his title to Mickey Walker. Now you had some wars in that Jewish community. Charlie Phil Rosenberg was a bantamweight champion. He knocked out Phil Kaplan. Abe Goldstein would have some really good fights in front of a crowd of 13,000 spectators. Barry Levinsky would face Dan Porky Flynn at the New York St. Nicholas Arena. Levinsky fought from 1916 to 1920, 272 bouts. Benny Leonard versus Leach Cross, Mussy Callahan versus Pepper Martin. Just a touch on George Kid Lavin, a member of the Jewish community. Fine fighter he was. He is to your left. I remember a lot of stories that were told to me by a friend that I had by the name of Teddy. He was about 83 or 84 when I met him. Met him when I was seven and a half years old. And the stories he told me about the Jewish fighters. 
is beyond belief. They were master, master boxers. They really were. And as I stated, I will be talking about some Jewish fighters in my next video. Because he had some great ones. George Lavin. You can find him in San Francisco, in Cleveland, in New York, all over. But he was some fighter. Just wanted to touch on George Lavin. Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fistigov Series. All great fighters and all great fights will never be forgotten on my channel. Salute to my subscribers. Salute to George Lavin. Thanks for your time. Peace.